Welcome, Welcome back, back to You for Minds. I'm Biggie. And I'm Belle. Goal setting is often talked about at the beginning of a new year or even at the start of a new school year. These are the times where people feel the most motivated. But did you know? 92% of people never achieve their goals. This is mainly because they don't plan them out well. But you're in luck because today we are going to help you become a part of the 8% using smart goals let's get started each letter in the word smart stands for another word hey ain't that an acronym yeah an acronym an acronym your goal should be specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound the first letter is s for specific you want to think of the exact goal you want to accomplish. For example, do you think get good grades or get all A's on my first report card is specific? Right, get all A's on my first report card is more specific than get good grades. Next is M for measurable. How are you going to be able to see that you are making progress towards your goal? Let's go back to our example about our grades. How will you be able to tell that you are on track to get all A's on your report card? Well, you can track the grades that you are getting on your homework and tests. If you are getting anywhere between 90s and 100s, then you should be on track to achieve that goal. Then there's A for achievable. This answers how. How do you think you are going to reach this goal? Well, to get all A's, you can study for at least 30 minutes every night, get help from your teacher or a tutor if the content seems too hard, and thoroughly complete all of your homework. R is relevant, because you know, that's how I feel about myself. Gotta have that confidence. You want to think about if this goal is something that is important to you at this time in your life. Lastly is T. And it's not for a technical foul, it's for time bound. This is like giving yourself a deadline as to when you want to achieve this goal. Say it's now the beginning of a school year and you want to achieve your goal by your first report card. Well, your deadline would be whenever report cards come out. Let's say October 1st. Before we go, here are three tips to help you stay on track with your goals. We got tips, we got tips. Number one. Write your goals down and look at them often. Number two, tell someone your goals so they can help you and hold you accountable. And three, reward yourself. You just put in all this work to get all A's on your report card. Now it's time to reward yourself with a big ice cream sundae. That's all we're rapping about today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's just going for more. See you next.